On Saturday, September 29, 2007, fireworks filled the sky over St. Vincent's campus, while joy, laughter, and tear-filled memories filled the Robert S. Carey Performing Arts Center. The evening was a special occasion, as it honored a man who has touched countless lives through his efforts for St. Vincent College. Many came to tell their stories about Father Tom Devereux. This is called a celebration of service. I think it's a very fitting title because service is at the core of who Father Tom is. Many years ago at an honors convocation in this very auditorium, Father Cecil, then president of the college, described Tom as a doer. He said that if you needed something done, no matter how difficult, maybe even impossible, ask Father Tom to do it and it will be done and done well. Well, the Tom is certainly one of the great treasures of St. Vincent. When we look over the past 162 years since the founding of St. Vincent, Father Tom certainly stands out as one of the bright lights, one of the great treasures, and your presence here this evening to celebrate his gift to St. Vincent, his gift to this community, I think symbolizes the deep affection and deep appreciation that each of you have for the contribution that he has made to this community and to this region. And so uh, I join President Tui in thanking you for your presence and support here this evening. We are here tonight, in tonight's celebration of service, we are here to honor a great many people, vast amounts of people, including the following. The outstanding performer is a baseball ace nicknamed The Rabbit because of his speed on the St. Vincent baseball team. Outstanding prep school prefect, outstanding parish priest in Jeanette's sacred heart. It just means we got it. Outstanding oh. head of the St. Vincent Stage Museum. Outstanding director of theater at St. Vincent College. Outstanding prefect on 3rd Gerard, St. Vincent College. First head of activities and scheduling at St. Vincent College. I'm not finished. Outstanding dean of men at St. Vincent College. Outstanding dean of students at St. Vincent's co-ed college. Founder and producer of the St. Vincent Summer Theater. So, honey, you are disrespecting all of these honorees by interrupting me. To continue. The first recipient of the coveted Hot Dog of the Year Award <laughs> from the Writers Guild of Ligonier, outstanding celebrant at numerous long-lasting marriages, outstanding planter of St. Vincent's signature Weeping Willows, outstanding baby baptizer, and outstanding friend of thousands. You finished? Yeah. Stu, all those honorees, they're the same person. They are? Yeah. Who? Who is he? Father Thomas Devereaux, Order of St. Benedict. Who? <laughs> Father Tom. Oh, Father Tom! Father Tom! Well, that makes sense. Okay, that's great. Father Tom, joking aside, we are honored to be standing here to honor you. I have loved you for 35 years. Joy has loved you for 40 years. That makes her five years luckier than me. <laughs> when I worked at St. Vincent back from 68 to 74, I can remember there were some staff people concerned that Father Tom was using the auditorium too much. So the, the order was put out, the only way you can use the auditorium is you have to sign out for it every day. <laughs> Creatively, what do you think Father Tom did? He went down the next day and put January 1st, Father Tom. January 2nd, <laughs> January 3rd, Father Tom. He took up the entire year. Creative, yes. A few days later, he mentioned that another hurdle had popped up. The insurance carrier refused to cover me on stage crew because I was a girl. I asked, can I pretend to be my brother Michael since he, since he and I have the same initials? Father Tom just looked at me. And then he said, I'll work something out and walked away. He never said what he worked out and I never asked. <laughs>
He opened the theater to so many of us that he, by opening the theater and giving us an opportunity, he really gave us an opportunity to be more than we thought we could. And in many productions, less than we thought we could also. <laughs> Father Tom was the only, the only person I know in all the years that I've seen communicators who could, after an audition, make you believe that anyone could star in a show, but that it took really special people to be extras. And <laughs> I must begin by saying that I am speaking today not just on my own behalf, but also for my sister Annie, who would be here tonight if she could. Both of us are slightly overwhelmed by the task of paying tribute in two minutes to the man who is the reason we exist, the man who introduced our parents to each other, married them, and baptized us, the man whose life's work shaped our childhoods and determined the paths we've taken as adults. We tried to come up with the perfect Father Tom story, but as you've heard tonight, there are too many of them. We tried to write the perfect description of Father Tom, to capture him like a character in a novel. But he is, as my father has often pointed out, sui generis. There is no one quite like him, making description which relies on comparison a bit difficult.